Hello, everybody. I'm Bob Sherman, delighted to be with you once again to enjoy with you a fresh and original session in this all-virtual season of Downtown Music at Grace. Our guest today is Abigail Fisher, live streaming from home, but also bringing us some concert footage, including a gorgeous spiritual with the Orchestra of St. Luke's. Abigail is both a composer and a kind of sound sculptor, so we'll be hearing some of her improvisational pieces designed, she says, to encourage peace and harmony. Well, after all the hatred and disharmony surrounding the election, peace and harmony sounds absolutely delicious. Enjoy, and I'll be back later to peer briefly into our downtown music crystal ball. Welcome to the Downtown Music Series. Thank you so much, Tim Lewis and Downtown Music for having me. I am Abigail Fisher. I'm a soprano and I sing about every other week at Grace Episcopal on Sunday mornings. So if you like what you hear, I hope you'll check out those live streams when you can. The pandemic has really welcomed us to experience the present moment in such a deepening way, to look at the mental and emotional loops and situations that we have created for ourselves. Whether it's a cycle of loneliness, in our solitude, missing our families, how do we cope with the situation that we are dealt? Because we are challenged so much more these days. I, for one, lost all of my work as a freelance musician. So I used this moment to create a new website and to begin live streaming the thing that has brought me peace, sound meditation, and other forms of meditation as well, other forms of mindful listening and mindful practice, how to see the moment as it is and to find peace in the present. And part of that is being in the moment with sound and that is the music that we will bring for you today. But also honoring the depth of this moment in honoring the life and the depth of impact of the most amazing soul, Irene Gabrud, who passed on election day this year and who was my voice teacher for seven years and my mentor, she taught me Meditation. She introduced me to meditation. She introduced me to Alexander Technique and Feldenkrais and the healing arts. How in order to sing with your full voice from the depths of your soul, you needed to honor body alignment, mental health, emotional awareness. All these levels of the depth of who we are that just continues to go deep as you explore within and grow awareness. And that really began the exploration of a journey which continues in myself as I explore and as I begin to teach my own mindful practice now. And so if you are resonating with this, I hope you will check out the abigom.com, my new website that is honoring these sound meditation and mindful practices. Abigom.com. And we also have a YouTube channel that you can listen to overtone instruments and mindful musical moments. The selections that we have 
selected for you today honor Irene in different ways. The first is a handle aria. I am playing cello and I always loved the songs that this character sang from Theodora and I chose this piece before even recognizing that the character's name is Irene. The next piece is called Act With Love. It's the words of Mother Mary that I have written into my own arrangement. Act with love in the place that you live and let that be your only tool. That love will turn everything to good. What a message for us today and a message that I felt honored Irene's essence in such a deep way. The third is a prayer also to Mother Mary that you'll know well by Schubert. And thank you, my husband, Jason Sladen, for playing the organ part. And the last piece that honors the practice that both Irene and I practiced for many years self-realization fellowship. It's a chant from that practice and it's a chant that I selected because I knew she loved this particular Divine Mother chant. And I arranged this specifically for this moment. I hope you enjoy. It is preceded by a improvisation based on this practice that teaches the Vedic tradition texts simultaneously with Jesus's teachings, teaching that through direct experience of meditation, we can know our own divinity within ourselves. And so I'd like to begin with a meditation in Irene's honor. You don't have to have known Irene to go within yourself and honor your own foundation because we all come from deep foundations, whether it be our family, our teachers, our friends that give us wisdom when we most need it. Who listens to you? Sometimes we do not honor this as fully and deeply as is needed. Sometimes it's simply honoring within yourself, feeling the resonance of devotion and gratitude within yourself. So I welcome you to explore that within today in these four numbers that have been lovingly prepared for you. Thank you so much for coming today and I welcome you to sit comfortably and close your eyes if you'd like. This is the beginning of many meditations that she would begin. And it helps us release the simmering tensions in our bodies from the daily do, do, do mind and body. And I welcome you to sit and continue with your eyes closed if you'd like throughout the whole program. When we allow ourselves to listen in this deeper way, we can access more imaginative, almost dreamlike states within ourselves that music does so naturally. How can you explore that element today, honoring your foundations. Closing your eyes, going within. 
perhaps feeling your sit bones, your connection with the ground, releasing the top of your head, releasing, allowing your muscles in the forehead to release, allowing your eye sockets, the muscles around your eyes to release now. Your temples and your cheekbones, bringing your consciousness there to allow releasing of those muscles. Releasing into your lips and your tongue. the bottom of your jaw, really allowing yourself to feel the musculature releasing, going into the top of your neck, feeling those muscles release into your shoulders, into your arms, the top of your arms, moving down your arms, to your forearms and your palms, thumb and fingers, tips of your fingers. Can you feel how pouring your consciousness in and allowing them to release that you can succeed in that. Going to the top of your torso and allowing that area to release as you work your way down the torso into your hips, your pelvis, top of your legs, going down to your knees, calves, ankles, top of the feet, bottoms of the feet and toes. Your whole body is relaxed. Feel the calmness and stillness within, radiating from the love deep inside.
I think I promised you a fresh and original program today, and 
Abigail Fisher certainly gave us one just now. Looking ahead four months or so, by the way, Abigail will be back March 17th with a St. Patrick's Day set of Celtic songs. Meanwhile, since next Wednesday is the eve of Thanksgiving, our downtown series will take the day off, meaning our next streaming session will be on December 2nd. At that time, with prize-winning pianist Yulan Jai joining the downtown Sinfonietta chamber players for a Mozart piano concerto recorded at the church last year. Meanwhile, if you would like to make a holiday donation to help ensure the future of these distinctive programs, Downtown Music will certainly be extremely thankful to you. And I guess I will, too. You go to dtmusic.org, and down at the bottom you'll find a Donate button, and there you are. I'm Bob Sherman. Have a great family holiday, and let's get together again December 2nd. Be well, folks. See you then.